んだよキリキリキリキリキリキリキリハロー茶 I see you It wasn't on purpose but it happened anyway <laughs> Congratulations on your early b i r t h d a Carol. Trying to be patient. I can't be patient. I forgot to add audio input. Oh well. It is me. It's so good to see you all. I have been gone for so long. Oh well. And now I have a blarlick. I made a PowerPoint to show you guys. No! A medical condition? Oh, I'm so sorry. Peekaboo! 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 That's the first sign of truly getting old. <laughs> Oh! That sucks. I hear that sucks big time. Hello. It is me, your h e m o m a n c e r magical waifu. Yeah. For that particular, for cannabinoid h y p r e m i s syndrome, I hear that it's like nausea upon consumption and all that good, good nonsense. But here I am! I'm so sorry that happened to you. I waited so long and now it is here. It's good to know. It's good to know. Then you can find out how to fix it. I was pretty happy when I figured out what my problem was. It was really annoying to deal with. Okay, so I made, I made a PowerPoint for you guys. And I'm excited to share it because this is officially... A reintroduction of Nero! Niniku Nerola! We will go through all of the model details at the end. So, first, uh, Inception. First, I pull up the, the, the slide. Yippee! Now I have to get out of the way. <laughs> Let's make me smaller. I have not paid for live TV, so don't mind the cute little, little flying guy. Don't worry about that. I'm not going to worry about that right now. She'll be gone eventually. Eee, I'm so excited! Okay. I'm Niniku Nerola. Wait, I gotta make sure you can still see this. I have to make sure.
Yeah, okay, good. Jojo, no, I'm streaming, no. Silly cat. I am Niniku Narola. It's nice to officially re-meet you. I also go by Nero or Nini. Hey, why'd my slide go backwards? I am 26 years old. I was born on February 2nd, and I'm approximately 5'1", maybe a little shorter. I am your magical wife, Hemomancer VTuber. I stream to fight evil by spreading good vibes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I go by Maho Nero on Oh god What's that? Okay On most social medias My live tag is Nero Live Which I failed to use to promote this stream But that's fine My fan tag is Plasmates My meme tag is Blood Meme And my art tag is Art, Cause it's like Nerola <laughs> Get it? Yeah Yeah Ha 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 my Oshi mark is the blood and the garlic. Very nice, right? Very nice. I'm trying to, I want to see what you guys are saying, but I don't have two monitors. There we go. Now I win. Yee! I might lose tracking every once in a while, but that's okay. That's okay. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Tumblr. Yes. Yes, yes. That's my mom! This is my mom! Pins the message. Pin, 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 pins it. Panda, what did my model? Five minutes. Yes. Oshi Mark is something that uh, more of the corporate VTubers use more than I do. It's some. It's a pair of emojis, either one or two, sometimes three, but usually just one or two that you can put in your bio or in your username to show that you favorite that VTuber. That's what an Oshi Mark is. So if you want to tell everyone that you are a Niniku simp, you can use blood and garlic. Or if you're trying to find me and my stuff, you can use the blood and the garlic. Along with my name. Obviously. <laughs> oh no. Not real family. It's okay. Not real family. But she made my model. She did, like, this. that was literally the next slide. So great timing, Prissy. Prissy is PandawaVT on Twitter. And she made all of the art and all of the rigging for my model. And you see we've got little vampire wings, got the cute little stockings, little gloves that I asked for at last minute. <laughs> and the cat ears and the cat tail, which I love very much. I will switch to those right now, actually. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. The cat ears go up and down, depending on my eyebrows. She did a great job. This would be a good time to go through the toggles, too. She should be releasing her showcase today if you want to show her your support on YouTube and Twitter. Yippee! So we have the sad, sad toggle. I am sad. Big sad. What could have made me so sad? I do not know. Maybe, maybe Yuri ate the last of my bacon snacks. Hmm. <laughs> he got sad and angry. Now you know he ate my bacon snacks because I am sad and angry. Hmm. Hmm. Just angry. Hmm. Hmm. And then the neutral. Very cute. And the hard eyes because I love you. Hi. Hello. Yes. And then the Blarlick toggle. My little friend. My magical little friend. 
And then the emotionless toggle for when I'm inting in League of Legends. God, please help me. Ha ha! And then the stress, stress toggle, which I can combine with the emotionless toggle for ultimate despair. I am in despair. And the angry toggle, ultimate despair. They picked Yumi before I did. can also do this combination and this combination and this combination lots of combinations and then obviously cat ears to elf ears cat ears elf ears and the ears are wiggly wiggle 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 ooh, 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 ooh. and I think that's mostly it but Oh, I'm not gone yet. Don't worry. If I zoom out. Hello again. I have bat wing toggle. And I'll do the cat toggle. So you can see my tail. See my pretty tail. Hee hee hee. Yeah, I almost didn't recognize you, Peach, because you also changed your name. Yep, boop, boop, boop. Hello. And then I have my bat wings, and the bat wings are also nicely animated. She did an amazing job. Yippee! Thank you, Prissy. I'm kind of rusty, so bear with me. The next next two weeks is going to be me getting my VTubing legs again. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I'm also not sorry. So. As a magical girl, I, you, you know we have some special items that we carry around and stuff. Yay! So I have my garlic-shaped magical gem. And if you can't see it, I will zoom in on it for you. Because it's right here. Right here. Isn't that lovely? Look at how beautiful it is. Let me get even closer. Yeah. What do you think about that? That's where all my magic comes from. Look at how sparkly it is. That's where all my magic comes from. <laughs> Isn't it great? I love it. I give it a little mwah, and then I turn I turn into a magical girl, but I can't do that yet. That's why I got the tails in the wing, because I'm only halfway there. Halfway there. Halfway there. Gar boobies. <laughs> That's right. That's right, that's right. I've got my bat wing hard hair clips, as you can see in my hair. All up in my hair. They're nice and shiny. Cause she made them nice and shiny and I love them and I've got my stars. Yes, yes. I have a pink pocket knife that you will not be seeing because that's probably against Twitch TOS and also I left it at home. Sorry. And I have a bag full of crystals. Those are also at home. <laughs> oh, thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it. Like I said, I'm a little scuffy, so I don't have my alerts set up properly at the moment. But it's okay, because I'll just do an alert noise for you. Yippee! Hello, welcome to the chat. Yippee! <laughs> Boom. My likes and my dislikes. Obviously, I like garlic, but I also like citrus and vocaloid. Uh, cooking and organizing. Notice how I left out cleaning because this is not a like, it's just a neutral. I also like helping others to a point. Nobody likes to be used as a doormat, but I like giving help when I can, you know? Send you files, pick you up from work, yada, yada, yada. But if I pick you up from work 10 times in a row, and you don't buy me sodas? I'm going to be looking at you. I'm going to be looking at you a little bit. Dislikes. Dog slobber. Yes, this means that when you will licks me, I, I don't like it. The saliva smell is too much. I'm sorry. I also don't like fish. I'll eat it, but I, it's not, I'm not a fan of it. And I can't, and when I do eat it, I can't ever eat a lot of it. I just, I just can't. 
Oh, thank you for the hydrate. I will hydrate right now with some Dr. Pepper. Because I love Dr. Pepper. It's literally my favorite. Yummy. Thank you. Whew. Um, I'm kind of in the way of it, but I don't like re-cleaning. I'm fine with cleaning up. I'll clean up after y'all all day long. But if I go in there and I clean that stove and then you leave it dirty again and you don't clean it up, I am going, I'm going to hurt you. Please don't dirty the stove and then not clean it after I've cleaned it because I will kill you. It kind of goes with all things, but the stove is kind of, stove is my enemy right now. <laughs> and lag. Lag is the last thing that I dislike. It was really hard for me to think of things that I dislike. That aren't obvious, like people being mean, but like lag. Lag is my enemy. Spoken like a true gamer. Lag makes me toxic. Th that's all I gotta say about that. Lag makes me toxic. My favorite things! Because we have things that we like, and then we have things that are favorites. Blarlick! My little, my, my little buddy Blarlick, he's one of my favorite things in the world. He's just a little Blarlick guy. What does Blarlick mean? It means that he's a garlic full of blood. He's my blood garlic. And I love him so much. I do, I do, I do. He's my mascot. And you can see his concept photo is the smaller one. And then his, a close up of his live 2D is the bigger one. And Prissy did a really good job animating him. Let me, hold on, bear with me. I'm getting, I'm getting up in your face. Just hold on a second. You see him? Look at him wiggle. Look at his little blarlick arms wiggling. He's such a good guy. He's such a cute little guy. All right, I'll get out of your face now. Sorry, I know, personal space. Big, big thing, big deal. We all like our personal space. <laughs> he dance. He do. He dance. He's dancing. He's dancing. Oh, thank you for the subscription, Hyrule. Yippee! Yippee! That's me making the alert noise for you. <laughs> for me, because I did not. I did forgot to set that up. I'm scuff. I'm sorry. I'm big scuff. And then my second favorite thing is my husband Yure. Just because I have a husband doesn't mean that I won't clean up after you. Don't worry. But he is, he, he's my, he's my ghost boy. He's my ghost pirate boy. And I love, mm, I love him. I love him lots. Prissy also made his model. And he's not, he's not streaming yet though. So you won't see him for a while. Hello, Lone Wolf. Welcome to the chat. It's nice to see you for the first time. Welcome. Welcome to the bloodstream, I should say. Wow, it's been a while since I've said that. <laughs> because this is, these, what I, my streams, I'm so sorry, I'm excited. My streams are called the blood streams. Because I get my power from blood. And I'm trying to fight evil by streaming to you. Also, it's just punny, so yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. -he. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very excited. <laughs> Hobbies. This is something that I forgot to mention at my first debut. What hobbies does a hemomancer wife have? Needle felting, first of all. That's the, that's the art where you stab with the needle into the felt until you make something cute. It's a lot of fun. I have stabbed myself a couple of times. That's less fun, but it's still a lot of fun. Art. What kind of art, though? I do a little bit of painting. And I do some digital art and traditional art with, like, the pen, the pencil, and then the tablet. That's about it. I don't, I am not, I'm not skilled enough to say that I do illustrations or concept art or anything else of that nature. I just, I just doodle and I'm still, I'm working very hard. I'm still working very hard to practice and build up my skills. 
Speaking of which, I did accept a bunch of requests that I'm going to be churning out um, at minimum on a weekly basis going forward from here. Because I accepted those requests around December and then I was sick for like a month and now I'm trying to get back into the groove. <laughs> you made a snowman? Oh my goodness! That's cute. That is really cute. Mm -hmm. um, I think my first needle felt work was a hedgehog, but his ears were too big and his nose was too big. So he looks like a, a really big fluffy hedgehog. I feel that, Caro, but I feel it with crocheting and needlework a lot more than I do with needle felting because something about the instructions that goes with needle, like the, the crocheting and the knitting, it gets to me. Like, I feel like I just don't get it. Learning how to loop is the hardest thing of my entire life. I have a whole little bucket of yarn that I've just been ignoring. And then dice making is a lot of fun too, but I, uh, I live in an apartment right now. So all those fumes from the dice making, it's not good. It's not good to breathe in those fumes. I don't have a good gas mask. I, I can't go out on the porch because it's too humid for the dice. It'll ruin the resin. And I don't have a pressure pot. So I gave up on making dice for now. For now. I will get back to it. But in the meantime, needle felting. Crocheting, I got a tiny neat, I got a tiny little crochet hook for uh, Nightmare Before Christmas crocheting that I need to do. But the yarn that I, the string that I was given is too big for the needle. And I don't know anything about needleworking, so I was like, am I allowed to rip the string apart so that way I can, I can put it in the needle? Is that okay? Is that allowed? I don't know if that's allowed. And some people said that it was okay. So I did that, but then I didn't know what I was doing, so... <laughs> I, it kind of looks like a mess. The, the minimal amount of progress that I made. And then my string got tangled. So I had to, I had to stop because my string got tangled. But I also play a lot of video games. Lots of video games. I play mostly RPGs. Not very many first person shooters, to be honest. Like. Not really very many at all. Let me switch to cat ears. Not very many. I do play them, but like I just have very, I'm very picky about which ones I like and stuff. I play so much League. League of Legends is a, like on my, on my gaming list. That is my go-to game. I love, I love League of Legends. I'm a stinky League of Legends player. Hmm. Hee <laughs> hee. I like the comfy games too, like Animal Crossing and stuff like that. I like our, I said I like RPGs, but I do I do really like RPGs. Like I love Skyrim. I really I've gotten into Rune Factory recently. I have not finished it, so I'll probably restart and then finish on stream because I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> um, and then. My, one of my bigger hobbies, as, and f as far as video games go, is Pokemon Go. I play so much Pokemon Go. Like, I play so much Pokemon Go. It's, I love it. I love it so much. It gets me outside, and I like taking the gyms, and I like catching the Pokemon. I like being rewarded for walking, honestly. It is the only game that's ever gotten me to go outside, and I go outside way more because of it. I am willing to add streamer friends on Pokemon Go. Fans, I'm still debating because with the, with the gifts, they're a little personal, they're a little close to where I live. So there's an amount of trust that's kind of needed. And there's no point in being friends if I can't send you gifts. So, that's my boundaries. But then, favorite foods. Potato leek soup. I debated just putting potatoes here because I, lo I love potatoes, right? I love potatoes so much. But potato leek soup has got to be by far my favorite food involving potatoes. And then I, lo I love roasted garlic, actually. I do love a lot of foods that have garlic in it. It's shocking, I know. 
<laughs> but roasted garlic on its own is actually really, really good. You just get some olive oil, some tin foil. You break up the, you open up the garlic, you pour olive oil all over it, stick it in the oven, let it cook, let it cook, and then you take out the cloves with a fork when it's done. And then you just spread it all over some toast. Maybe with a little butter, too. And it's just, um, tom, 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 tom. It's very good. Um, this is ice cream mochi. I like ice cream mochi. Regular mochi, I'm kind of, kind of, uh, iffy about. Because there are some flavors that I really don't like. And when it's really sticky, when it's warm... I, I guess I could have added that to my dislike list because I don't like the feeling of the mochi when it's warm. But I like it when it's cold. I So ice cream mochi is really good. And then bacon foods. Anything with bacon in it, I tend to like more than without the bacon. So chicken breast wrapped in bacon. Sorry, I forgot the word breast. <laughs> chicken breast wrapped in bacon. Um, pork wrapped in bacon. Bacon sprinkled into a salad. Bacon is just a side snack on its own. Bacon. I love it. I love that stuff. So then, related to the video game talk, my favorite games and my favorite animes. Even It's kind of switched, though. So for my favorite animes, I went with my favorites. The favorites. Like, the long-standing favorites. Gurren Lagann, Madoka Magica, and Magia Record. I like both of those. Or I mean, Madoka. I don't, I don't know the pronunciation. I only read. I don't speak. <laughs> uh, Naruto. Uh, Demon Slayer. That's more of a current one that I've been enjoying. Ghibli movies. I love Ghibli movies so much. Like, all of them. I can't really... If you ask me to pick a favorite, I'd have to say three at the same time. Because I can't just say Spirited Away. I can't just say Howl's Moving Castle. I can't just say... Uh, Porco Rosso, you know, they're just, they're all very good movies. Some I've watched more than others, like The Secret World of Arietti. I love that, Arietti, I love that show. I love that. Hi, Yurei! Everybody, that's Yurei. That's, that's my boy. That's my guy. I love him. I love him so much. Sorry. I love him. And he has the other model that was made by Prissy Hyrule, who subscribed earlier. He's also got a model made by Prissy. Very, very good. And yeah, they are too good to just pick one. They're all worth watching at least once, for sure. Nausicaa, very good. Uh, Promare, that's a movie, but it's an anime movie. And it's one of my favorite anime movies. It was made by Studio Trigger, who made Gurren Lagann, as well as Kill a Kill. I haven't seen Kill a Kill. <laughs> I love Cowboy Bebop, but that one's, like, old. So that one's just, mm, in my heart, love it, long time, forever. And yeah, reincarnated as a slime! I'm, that one's a more recent one, modern, I'm watching it in real time. It's a great, it's honestly one of my favorite isekais. Phone shut up. It's one of my favorite isekais. There's so many, so many isekais now, right? Slime is kind of the king, in my opinion. It's it's avalanched all of them. There were more, there were some beforehand. There were really good ones before Slime. I'm not trying to say that Slime invented it. But I am saying that Slime perfected it. Slime is good. I just, it's not simple, it's kind of complicated. I did fall out of it for a little while though because I'm waiting. I'm not a big manga reader, so I'm waiting for more anime to be released. <laughs> and then games. Skyrim. Long time lover. I will never, never, never dislike Skyrim. Yeah, Veldora and Rimuru. I love them so much. Ah! They're such good characters. I re oh man. For I like forgot everyone's names though. I know, I remember Rimuru. How many Skyrim copies do I own? Well, <laughs> let's count together, shall we? 
I have one on the PlayStation. Hi, Romy! Hi, Sissy! Romy is also one of Prissy's VTuber children. She's got a great model, and she's got great streams, and she's really sweet and cute. So definitely support Hyrule and Romy if you can. Hello! It's good to see you! Thank you for making it. Yippee! Okay, counting Skyrim copies, though. <laughs> no, you're adorable! I have one copy for the PlayStation. We have two copies for the PC. And I think I had to talk myself out of getting one for the Switch, but I was definitely going to buy that as soon as it went on sale. But also, I bought the PlayStation 1 twice because I lost access to my PlayStation account, like my physical copy. So I ended up buying a digital copy. So that's at least four, almost five copies of Skyrim. Wait, hold on. In the VR one, the VR one, I think we bought VR Skyrim, but we haven't played it yet. I love Skyrim. I will never say no to playing Skyrim. I would love to do multiplayer mods for Skyrim. I'll stream Skyrim. I'll play the whole game on like hard mode. <laughs> no fast traveling. <gasps> You've never played Skyrim? That's okay. I funny story actually. When I first started playing Skyrim, I I was working my first job. And I saw those memes on the internet where it's like, take, take an arrow to the knee. You know, does someone steal your sweet roll? And honestly, I hated it. I really did not like Skyrim at all. I thought it was a dumb game. I thought people were over-exaggerating and like hyping it up too much. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. I don't think I finished Skyrim either, but Yure has. I'm going for an achievement win next time I play. I'm doing achievement run. <laughs> oh my gosh, same! I had to go fight Alduin in the end of the at the end of the game in like the afterlife, and I was like, no, I'm not ready. But yeah, I really thought Skyrim was going to be an awful game. But then when I got money after for my from my first job. And I went to go buy a bunch of games. I bought like Deus Ex Machina and the new Kingdom Hearts. And I had some money left over and I'm like, hmm. I'll try Skyrim. I'll give it a try. I'll give it a little, little, little try try. And I didn't think I was going to like it at all. But then I ended up loving it. Something about the, hey, you're finally awake. It just got me. It just got me good, you know? <laughs> Hundreds of hours. Agree. A hundred percent agree. The only game that I have more hours in is The Sims. Because I have a thousand hours in Sims 4 alone. Yu Woo! Hi Yu Woo! Yu Woo is my other VTuber sibling in both Art and Brig. Oh no! <laughs> no band! Uh, Yu Woo's model, newest model, she had her debut recently, is also made by Prissy. She also deserves your support. She's very cute. And very comfy. Everyone's here. The whole family's in the chat. Yippee! <laughs> you would play before you fight the first dragon and then stop playing the main quest when the dragons didn't show up. That's funny. You just don't let them spawn ever. You never get to that point. I've watched people mod Skyrim until it cannot run anymore. That's my brother in real life. He does that that kind of stuff. I will admit that when I thought about doing mods, I was definitely the type of person to be like, I want the new hair, I want the pretty eyes, I want the pretty big titty girls. <laughs> I ended up not modding it at all. But then I did do I did use mods on the PlayStation, but those are pretty limited. They're pretty limited mods. It's really just kind of like you're untouchable. Untouchable. Hello, Chaotic. Welcome to the chat. I should also say welcome to Kiyoshiki. Hello. 
it's tempting to install all the mods. I know Yure's installed mods, but he's the type of person to install the clear water, better trees, perfect sky type mods. He makes that, sh that shit look like real life. I saw the Thomas the Train Engine Dragon. Yes, 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 yes. That was That's one of the mods that I want to. I saw that as a meme video. And then I saw it again, I think, when the McElroys played it. Oh my gosh. Considering how much trouble he had operating an iPhone. Yeah, I'm pretty shocked that he was able to do it too. But oh, he's got what? I don't understand it. But he seems to understand it. I think it's just when he like he's used to the program. <laughs> like he's been using Windows PC his whole life. If you put him on a Mac, he might have some problems. He couldn't. He couldn't use an iPhone. <laughs> he couldn't. Can I open the app again? Yeah. Okay. There you go. <laughs> It's just because it's an iPhone, but yeah, it was that bad. The interfaces are completely different. I was able to spend 24 hours learning it. I had some problems, but I, I learned, I adapted, I overcame. <laughs> but then Yuri was trying to help me with all of the VTuber setup and stuff and whatnot. And he closed the iFacial mocap app and couldn't figure out how to get it back open. So he had to ask me to help him open it. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then, um, moving on from the Skyrim topic, though. Red Dead Redemption 2. That game stole my heart. And I know that you was playing it recently. I was watching her play it for a little bit. I could watch people play that game forever. And I'm currently in the middle of replaying it on PC. I really, really want them to add Red Dead 1 to Red Dead 2 so I can play Red Dead 1 for the first time. Because I didn't play Red Dead 1 before I played Red Dead 2. I, did, I didn't know how it was going to end. I didn't know what was going to happen. Red Dead Stream 1. Soon. I will do it for you. <laughs> Yeah! Being a cowboy is so much fun. I'm just not sure if I should stream the story or if I should stream online mode only. I, I might do both. <laughs> Yuri and I are kind of like having a little of a competition where we only play at the same time and we see who can do like finish the story faster. I, I, I know what happens in Red Dead 1 very loosely because Yuri told me. <laughs> I bet it's worth playing. Apparently it's a lot like Red Dead 2 in terms of gameplay function. And the only thing that's really different is the story. All I know about Red Dead 1 is... Dad die, boy take his place, revenge kill. That's it. That's all I know. I know a little bit more detail than that, but like that's the gist of it. <laughs> that's my that's my plot hook for you. Come play the game. Come play the game, everybody. Red Dead 2. I love Arthur Morgan so much. And I yes, I know what that means. I know what that means for my heart. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just, I'm just waiting for them to add Red Dead 1 to Red Dead 2. The day that they do that, I'll piss. <laughs> I would be so happy. So happy. No, you haven't finished it yet? Well, I'm excited to watch you finish it then. Everybody, you were still streaming. You were still streaming Red Dead. Are oh, you kind of lost? Oh no! Oh, oh. Yeah, what part did you stop on? I just kept following main objectives. There's so. It's kind of like Skyrim with how many 
open world things you can do with it because there's a lot of smaller quests with really interesting stories and there's a lot of optional things too you got fucked up at the bar <gasps> you had the bar fight did you get arrested or did you make it free Hmm. Put Thomas the Tank into Red Dead. All the horses become Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> you're free. I got arrested. So I think your next move would be to find your horse. <laughs> the controls made you angry. There might be a solution for that. I play with a controller. I don't. I did not want to learn how to play on PC. I played with a controller. There's so much detail. My favorite thing to do in Red Dead is hunt. Like, main story is great. Love it. The heart, heart, my heart pumps with Red Dead story. But, but, the hunting. I could hunt for four hours straight in that game. Just taking hides back to camp, getting the meat pieces. I don't, I haven't even made any outfits yet. I just keep hunting the animals and bringing them back to camp. Yeah, that too. The ball physics on the horses. Those horses, they get small when it's cold. Attention to detail. God damn. Uh, I also play Disney Dreamlight Valley. That's kind of my more, one of my more comfier games. I do intend to stream that a lot with the upcoming uh, Pride update. I really want to get the lions and I really want to add a bunch of cute amusement park things to my 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 valley. <laughs> you have Disney Dream My Valley? Fuck yeah. Elite gamer status. Comfy gamer status. It feels like Animal Crossing but with Disney characters to me. That's that's how much I like that game. You didn't know you could do chores in camp? Yeah, and you actually get benefits for doing chores in the Red Dead camps. Like, I chopped some wood. I carried some hail, bay, bays of hail. Hails of bay? Bales of hay? I carried some bales of hay. <laughs> and um, my, my dead eye went up. You hate the energy, though. Oh. <gasps> Yeah, true. It's very limiting. I, like, I gotta eat food all the time. I just carry around cocoa and lemons on me, and then I just eat them in mass. I bet I freak all- I, like, I was just stand next to Mickey Mouse, and I'll just eat five lemons whole. I bet that guy thinks I'm a freak. <laughs> Raw cocoa. Uh, like I said earlier, I am a stinky League of Legends player, so I got League of Legends on my, my favorite game list here yeah who do i main in league of legends oh thank you for not asking soraka ash those are the kind of the only two babes that i made <laughs> but i also like playing syndra i like playing ari league is suffering thank you i am sick with the league infection <laughs> Imagine liking League. I am clinically insane for doing so. But here I am. There will probably be League streams. They will either be very toxic or they will be silent. Because there's just no in-between for me. <laughs> I mostly play Aram though. Like, I get so mad when I play Summoner's Rift. It's kind of crazy. Can't end it on a loss, bro. Five losses in a row, one more. Run it back. <laughs> so I, I used to play ranked, and the highest I ever was ranked was uh, high silver. I kind of stopped playing before I got to gold, which sucks because all of the rewards start at gold. Can you take... Mm. It was so close. I when I do play seriously and I did play ranked I would always play either support ADC or mid because I can't jungle for shit I did play one ranked game where I played jungle Vi because that was the only only option left really and we won 
somehow. I mean, Vi is just really good, so I didn't really gank that much. But when I did, I just go in and push R. <laughs> and then we had some team fights late game. It was really quiet laning phase, but we had some good team fights in the mid to late game. And then we just, my team just carried me. They just carried me home. I played Cassiopeia top in a ranked game once. We won somehow. We won somehow. The characters are cool. Uh, heads up though, Hyrule. It's okay to play bots. I played bots. I was harassed into playing League because that's the only way that people ever really decide to play League is being harassed into it or just the peer pressure of it. All your friends play League. I guess I should play League too. Or one friend plays League and they go, play League with me. Play League with me. Play League with me. Play League with me. And then you play League with them. It's way different than Smite, but way easier than Dota. ARAM is good for learning PvP and learning how to teamfight, but the team comps can be ridiculous, so it's also kind of just chaos at all hours. Just total chaos. <laughs> but I played, I played bots for a year after I finally played League. And then after a year, I had some friends that bullied me into playing ARAM. And I played ARAM for probably two months. And then I played blind pick. And then I played draft pick. And then I played ranked. My heart is a support. So I just, I just play support. I play support more than any other role. It's a great role. I love playing support. I would never do anything other than play support. Even though I got a pentakill as Ash when I played ADC once, I would just never, ever, ever play anything other than support. I mean it. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, Pokemon. I play lots of Pokemon. I My first Pokemon game was Emerald. My next Pokemon game was Silver. Hey, if, if, if FPS is where your heart is, then play the FPS. I know a lot. I have a lot of VTuber friends that play Apex. I can't get into it. I can barely play Overwatch. And I was doing good in Overwatch. I got up to Platinum in Overwatch. I, Apex, I just don't vibe with. Fortnite, I can't get into it. I have, I am interested in playing Call of Duty, but only in the story mode. Hmm, hmm. Sticky. <gasps> Not stinky, sticky? Oh my god. Fortnite looks like so much fun. It really does. It looks like so much fun. But I just, every time I download it and I start playing, I'm just like, hm. I suck. I hate this game. <laughs> Flosses in Twitch chat. Fortnite has all of the best crossovers. That's what makes me want to play so much. It's just Apex, but third person. Maybe that's why I can't get into it. Because Apex doesn't appeal to me. Overwatch I somehow enjoy. But I got mad at it for not doing loot boxes. <laughs> I heard that they brought those back though. So I'll probably start playing Overwatch again. I just don't want to pay for another stinky battle pass. I already pay for the League battle pass. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. I don't want to pay for the Overwatch Battle Pass, too. Mm -hmm. I support you, Romy. I support your not liking mint chocolate ice cream ways. My favorite is Vanilla Bean. Mm -hmm. Or any cookie dough chocolate chip type where it's vanilla and then you just got, like, chocolate in it. Mmm... Mint, mint chocolate ice cream I just don't like though but I don't like very many mint things I like thin mints but only a little bit Romy's the rebellious child everything Prissy loves Romy hates gotta rebel <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
TFT Battle Pass and League? Yeah. At least that one's somewhat free. The event battle passes in League are very worth it if you like the event. You have to create some drama in the family as the oldest child. True. You're the trendsetter, the rule breaker, the innovator. You gotta break the ceiling. <laughs> family meeting about what? <laughs> Throw me up for adoption? No! No! Okay, but Pokemon. I mentioned Emerald, I mentioned Silver. Uh, I played Black, I played Black and White too. I played Sun and Moon. I have Sword. And I also have the newest one. I play too many Pokemon game. There's so many Pokemon game. Cookie Run! The mobile game! Not, I, I do, I do play Cookie Run, but I mostly play Cookie Kingdom. Stardew Valley, comfy game, very comfy game. And then Sims, the, the best game of all time. I heard that there's a Sims clone that's going to be released. And the graphics reminds me of original Sims, but like more realistic. I'm not sure if I want to get the new Sims. It's like Life by You, I think is what it's called. I don't know. I'm kind of a Sims whore. I don't know if I'll play it. Cookie game! Cookie game! Cookie game! Cookie game! I have almost everybody in Cookie Kingdom, but I missed a couple of the legendaries. I'm... Rest in fucking peace. I'm so... I'm also sorry you didn't get the costume for Moon Cookie because it is fire. I didn't get it either, but I want someone to get it. <laughs> someone needs to get it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't get Sea Fairy Cookie. I'm missing a couple of epics. I'm missing the, the super epic. I think it's, yeah. Is that the costume for Sea Fairy Cookie? No! Rest in fucking peace. Rest in peace. I am both angry and sad for you. You don't even have... Well, you said at the time. Does that mean you have her now? You got Sea Fairy Cookie now? Because if you got her now and you got her costume... Nice, 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 nice. But you don't have her girlfriend's outfit. Now they can't be gay together. So sad. So sad. I'm pressing F. F to pay respects. <laughs> You're only missing three super epic cookies? Wow. You have collected more than me. I think I'm missing eight eight cookies. Not I'm glad they don't include the BTS cookies unless you have them. Because that gotcha that gotcha was rigged. That gotcha was bullshit. That was just like the Disney one, and I'm I'm mad that I can't even use the Disney ones, but I'm more mad that I wasn't able to get all the BTS boys. Because I got six, maybe eight Disney cookies. Cute. I can use them as icons. Okay, they can run around my kingdom. Okay. But the BTS cookies, you could actually use in battle. And I only got one. Because I kept getting fucking super epic furniture. Why could they not just separate the furniture from the cookies? Why couldn't they do that? I only got one cookie. And then I got three outfits. And I only own, I, only one of the outfits is for the cookie I own. So I'm glad, I'm glad they don't count that towards your collection total unless you own them. But I'll know in my heart. I will know in my heart that I don't have those cookies. I, I have no idea. As far as I'm aware, Disney cookies cannot battle. I might be wrong about story mode, but they're definitely not in PvP mode. The only places that I've been able to see and use my Disney cookies is in my clan. Where you can make them like your little cookie that sits at the clan table. And then in my kingdom where they walk around and they're very cute. And then as your icon because yay you got the cookie. I had Alice in Wonderland as my icon for a very long time. 
Now it's Milky Way cookie. <laughs> Uh, Sims, though. Speaking about Sims, I am planning to do a Sims stream in the future where I build a basement to trap people in. Oh, thank you for the redeems! Stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Mm. Thank you, my back hurt. <laughs> I didn't even realize it. Yeah, hydrate. Okay, next slide. What to expect when watching me. This is some stinky art that I did. Yeah, I made that. I made that. It's stinky. And then this art is by Ichigo Strawberry. My wiggly over here. I love my wiggly. It is also an emote. One of my favorite emotes in the best animated one that I have comfy gaming streams this means that I'll just be playing comfy games uh, my mic will probably be a lot less sensitive so my voice doesn't get too high even when I'm scared and we're just gonna go for comfy vibes like it's kind of comfy is kind of like a word for me to say illegal sorry not illegal where'd my brain go why did my brain break Why did my brain break? I meant to say lazy. <laughs> Comfy gaming stream for, like, it's just like my lazy days. I'm just tired, but I want to stream and have fun. Chair? Window? No chairs or windows here. Burrito? Nope. Illegal? <laughs> yeah, I'm pirating the games. <laughs> oh, but actually, on that note, I do plan to do, to do emulator games. And we could play games like Sonic Forces. Yeah. Sonic Forces. Sonic Colors. Capital Letters? In my stream? It's more likely than you think. I do plan on doing occasional hand cam streams because I like to make beaded bracelets. So I was thinking about doing that. And I like to make pizza. So I was thinking about doing hand cam stream for pizza. Those are the only things that I would do hand cam streams for. <laughs> Camo no Mimi sounds. You didn't make a request, so I will do cat. Nyang, 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 nyang. So yeah, for cooking, I do mean pizza. Yeah. And then for crafting, I do refer to specifically to making beaded bracelets. Yeah. Do I sell those bracelets? I haven't sold them officially yet, but I do intend to sell them in the future. Currently I am making stone bead piece bracelets and I'm, I'm just experimenting with colors and having fun. But it's actually interesting that you asked that because one of my friends, I made a bracelet for him and he went to work and his coworker was like, oh my God, I love that bracelet. Where did you get it? And he's like, oh, Yurei's wife made that. Isn't that cool? And she's like, oh my god, Yurei's wife? Can you ask her to make me one? And I didn't have any extra beads at the time. So I was like, I have some pre-made ones if she wants to see if she likes any of those. And he showed them to her. And I guess she liked some of them. She's going to France, so she bought three. One, two for herself, and then one for her friend that she's going to go visit. Hello! Cadencia born. Cadence Aborn? Um, if I do open a shop, it'll probably be on co co coffee. Coffee. And I'll probably sell the bracelets for like three three dollars each. Maybe two dollars if shipping ends up being a lot. Cause I know that shipping's shipping's the real reason that stuff is expensive on the internet. And I'll probably stock up on rocks beforehand so that way i can do customs more easily so if you want like a fan bracelet that's made from black quartz and red jasper to represent like itachi or something there you go caden seaborn 
ごめんなさい。I'm so sorry. I said your name wrong. Please forgive me. <laughs> But yeah, I was, I was thinking about it. Thank you for asking. <laughs> But I, I am interested in doing streams for that because it's just really fun and it's relaxing. We can listen to music together while I do that. And then pizza. I've been making lots of my own pizza, so I'd love to make pizza on stream. Because, like, kneading that dough, making that yeast is good. It's good fun. Uh, gaming grind streams. What does that mean? That would mean, like, I play Genshin and we're just grinding out mats, materials, or I play Final Fantasy. And we're just grinding out the story, grinding out levels, play RuneScape. I'm just grinding out levels, grinding out some quests. I expect those to be not as funny and more good for background noise. So that's something to expect from me in the future. Silent gaming ASMR. That specifically means that I'm going to play a game that has a lot of ambiance to it, like Red Dead, and I'm not going to talk. You can see my model and stuff, probably, but I'm not gonna talk. We're just gonna listen to the game together. All the all the talking, all the horse clippity clop stuff like that. And then in the future, I'm still kind of debating on it, but maybe also other kinds of ASMR, like chaotic ASMR, or like quiet whisper ASMR. That kind of stuff. But the priority will definitely be gaming streams, of of. Some variety. <laughs> and then I have some goals that I'm going to set up as of the stream and try to meet in like the next year. Streaming regularly is my number one priority because that has been my biggest issue since I started in August. I don't know if I just expect too many days out of myself or. What? But I just, I need to stream regularly. Even if it's just one day a week, you know? I am starting a new job, so I gotta figure out when I'm available. But I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna try and stick to it better than I did before. Because I love this model, and I like to see it move. <laughs> uh, I also need to post content to YouTube regularly. Thank you, Patches! It's so good to see you! Uh, in the next year, this isn't like an immediate goal, but in the next year, I would like to reach 500 followers on all of my socials. But by all, I will like put a little asterisk next to that. And I want to say on Twitter and Twitch and YouTube primarily, because I don't care much about Instagram and the rest of them, even though I'm on there. Haha, <laughs> imagine streaming. Ha 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 ha. Sweat, sweat. <laughs> it's like the biggest challenge. VTuber stream regularly challenge. Uh, I want to do a Let's Play series in tandem with the YouTube content. So, that might be when I do Red Dead. I might do, like, I might just record Red Dead and then post it to YouTube instead of streaming it. So, we can do a Let's Play together. <laughs> hey with Riz <laughs> well thank you we would all watch your art streams Prissy <laughs> we got you stream for us please Prissy please <laughs> I also want to do a chaotic ASMR series probably that one would be more on TikTok Where it's just like really, really random bullshit. <laughs> just random ass noises for an ASMR. You don't suck, you're doing your best. Uh, I also really want to dive into reviewing content for shows and games because I will talk at Yure for hours about my opinion on stuff, and he keeps telling me that I should just record it and post it. I don't know what platform that would end up being on. Might be a stream thing. Might be a YouTube thing. Probably won't be a TikTok thing. Random bullshit. Go! Yeah, like that. And then 
this is like a, a, a five year goal. This is not something I expect to do in the next year. Maybe the next two years though. Maybe the next two years. But I want to create designs for all my magical forms. And I used a pick crew to kind of make some con like some very rough concepts for the vibes that I want all the forms to have. So these would be all the forms. Um, this one, this pink one, is closest to what I have going on right now. Hello! And honestly, that's probably just the vibe for the default form. But then these other four are definitely magical forms. So, to describe the overall vibes to you, we have Sporty in the green square here. Nice and, nice and cute and sporty. We have, uh, kind of really, like, cool, independent, strong, don't fuck with her type vibe. We have the preppy cheerleader type vibe. Real, real happy, real bubbly, really pretty. And then we have like the cooking vibe. The very domestic, sweet, soft type vibe. Cause I'm a hot mess and there's a lot of vibes that I go through. So yeah, I would love to do those as magical forms in the future. And then we're, we're getting into the end of it now. So I wanna give a final huzzah and yippee to Prissy for making my model in doing the rigging. She did an amazing job and I highly, highly, highly endorse her. And then to touch briefly on the emotes, we do have a lot of emotes. We've got, you know, head pat emote. We've got our little hello emote. We have our little garlic heart emote. It's kind of like all those normal heart emotes that you see, but it's garlic. <laughs> we have our, our little peak, little peaky peak emote. We've got our, our raging emote where we're like real mad, real big mad emote. And then we have the stare, which isn't up here, but you, you probably saw it on a different slide. You may, Amaterasu also made that one. And we have the wow emote, wow. And I think that's all of them. No, wait, it's not. There's also the roar. That one's animated. That's why I forgot about it. Roar! It's where we're mad, but we're, we're not mad mad. We're just angy. We're just angy. <laughs> and now, I think that's the end. No. I'm going to do lore, and then I'm going to do model inspection type thing. So, oh uh, yeah, my lore. Who the hell am I? Where did I come from? Why do I exist? Well, when I was barely old enough to be on my own, I was wandering an empty beach with my mind full of despair. A nasty thunderstorm brewed, as they often do in Florida. The waves grew tall, and a particularly nasty one slammed into the shore and carried me away. I struggled against the water's strength, only to give up as everything went dark. I woke up on an island, my hometown barely a speck on the horizon. There was a singular lighthouse, rather tall and mighty, that stood on the island full of lush flora. Starving, I looked for food. I grew weaker and weaker, and I felt I might float away, until I bit into a fruit that had the shape of a dragon fruit and the skin of a strawberry. It changed me, and I found myself bound to that island forevermore as a magical wife hemomancer. The wife part came a little later, though. <laughs> so thank you! Thank you for watching my PowerPoint. Now we will go on to staring at the model. The end and the beginning. The end of my PowerPoint. The beginning of our fun together. So some of my favorite details, some of the less looked at details. We got the feet. We got some feet down here, you know? She did a great job. These tights are really well rendered. The floofy of the skirt is very nice and floofy. 
She got my little bat thigh details here that I really love. And she got my arm warmers. And I've got these little claws that I love so much. You can see my tail. Swish. And how the gradient looks so very nice. I love how she did the gradient. I'm very appreciative of that. And my wings are nice and floopy as well. And I got that booba. That booba, booba. That booba, booba, booba. Because I don't got booba in real life, but I got booba on my model. <laughs> and then there's me. Hello. Maybe you wiggle boo. No wiggle. No wiggle. Ah. Yeah. I forgot to say that I could lick you. It's kitty lick, so the tongue is rough. <laughs> I got my teeth. Ah. Ah. And then again, I got my heart toggle, and my angry toggle, and my sad toggle, despair toggle, very despair toggle. Blarlick, leave. Meow. He's gone. And then my ears. Oh, I forgot to zoom in on a couple of things. So you can see she's she put some pink in my necklace here. Yeah. You can also see in my tongue, there's a cute little uh, tongue piercing. Yeah. It's very, very, very cute. And I got my pink necklace with my mesh that connects to the dress. But then the wings actually move a little bit on the hair pieces as well. And then my little hoagie. It's very wiggly. Ah! That's about it. That, that, is, that is the end of this model debut. Ah! Where'd I go? <laughs> Hi, sheepy! Matching family piercing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a family heirloom. <laughs> I'm so glad that you could make it at the end though It's so good to see you I love sheepy so much Ick <laughs> <laughs> Um Credits I should do credits Before I leave leave Yes one million percent. Does everyone have a tongue piercing? Only if you're cool. Bleh. <laughs> Honestly, I would never, ever get a tongue piercing in real life. But since it's digital, I'm totally okay with it. But, um... My panels are a little outdated, but I did update the information inside of them. So, assets that I'm using. Live 2D model is by Panda La VT. Just keep that in mind. Uh, assets are the background music is by Coffee Run. The bit and sub badges, it didn't look like they updated just quite yet until just now. But they are by Cameo Late. I'm going to post that one just in case I said it wrong. But you guys can look in the about me panel. They did my bit and sub badges. I haven't updated the bit, so it's technically that's just both of them for now. Uh, the bedroom behind me is by Mirabelle VTuber, and the starting BRB and ending stream is by Scarlet Storm. Yippee! Coffee Run is very amazing. I agree. They've helped me so much with the vibes because I I started using his their music back in October for the spooky music I hope to commission them one day but we'll see we'll see how that goes yeah I think that's that's about it do we have any questions 
<laughs> I am a Dr. Pepper fiend. That's my favorite drink. We went over favorite foods, but that's my favorite drink. The VOD will stay up on Twitch for as long as Twitch will allow it, but I will be uploading it to YouTube as soon as we're done. Yippee! Sorry, I can't stop saying yippee. Yippee! <laughs> I plan on having all of my assets done by the next time I stream, which... trying to figure out my work schedule first but I'm going to say I'm want to stream on Thursday so whatever time I get home or exist on Thursday I will be streaming but I'll let you know on Wednesday and then I will have regular schedules put up on Twitter after that and I will be adjusting my schedule on Twitch to match such so you don't have to go anywhere if you don't want to let's go Hoggers. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Thank you for looking at my, my PowerPoint. I worked hard on it. <laughs> Is there anything else I need to say before we go? Hmm. Check out Prissy, check out Romy, check out Hyrule, check out Yure, check out Yuwu, check out Caro, check out Sheepy. Uh, I have a Discord, but it's kind of dead. But I'm in there. Check out Yume Amaterasu. She's got some cheap emotes that you can use if you want. They're Sailor Moon themed and Evangelion themed. I think that's it. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye bye. I love you. <laughs>